Hello, friends of the interwebs. My name is Pai Jirsa, co-founder of Lynn and Jirsa Photography and SLR Lounge. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we used the 500 watt second juice of the Profoto B1 to carve and chisel out our subjects in an otherwise very visually complex scene. Recently, we planned to do a South Asian stylized wedding shoot in partnership with several other vendors, including Terranea. They are a local hotel, resort, and property, very beautiful in Southern California. Now, for every one of the vendors, we asked what their specific goals were. And for Terranea, they wanted one specific hero shot that would show off the Bharat in the Terranea backdrop. And the Bharat, spelled B-A-R-A-A-T, is actually the groom's processional. So they wanted to show the path that leads the way over to the ceremony site where the Bharat would take place. They wanted to show the beautiful backdrop of the hotel, the ceremony site that's visible during the Bharat. And they also wanted to show the ocean view and the sky behind all of this. The only issue was this wasn't an actual Bharat, meaning we didn't have the entire groom's processional to be charging along with the groom and to set up this entire scene. So it didn't make sense for us to put the groom up on the elephant by himself on this pathway. So we thought what might make more visual sense was to basically say that this is a couple's photograph and put the bride up on the groom with him. So that way it's the two of them. And it would make sense basically why they would want a shot with just the elephant, the property and everything by themselves. The problem that we ran into was basically, I was shooting on my 5D Mark III along with a 17 to 40 lens. And the shot looked really cool, but the issue that I was having was that Ty and my couple, they blended into the background too easily. Basically, the brightness of the entire scene and, and them in that scene, it made it look a little bit drab and we had a very visually complex scene and we weren't able to easily kind of identify our subjects in that scene. So we had several options. Now, because I was on a ladder, our typical option of lighting up close and compositing, where we take two shots and then remove the light from one shot and then composite everything in, it wasn't really that easy to do because I was hand-holding from on top of a ladder and we didn't have a 20-foot tripod that could reach me. So instead, we opted for more power. We might, we really could benefit from the B1 right now. We need the extra power. And we got the pro photo all the way over to the edge of the left side of the scene. So it's just barely framed out of the camera on the left side. It's okay, um, can you step back right there? And then make sure it's pointed just towards them. So what you could do is go back a little bit further, okay? So you're, uh, look at me, go towards the grass. And we use the pro photo basically directly in front of the elephant tie and the couple who's on top of tie. So the pro photo is firing directly on them, which is basically perpendicular from the camera. And the whole point of that angle was to create this edge light that kind of chiseled out our subject just a little bit from this very bright and kind of dynamic scene. Firing at one over one power, we got this final image, which looked fantastic. Now, could we have done this shot in other ways? Yes, it was possible, but this is the perfect example of where having 500 watt seconds of power in the Profoto B1 really helped to simplify our lives to help us to get everything in one single shot. So this image, along with all the other images we captured throughout the day, helped each of our vendors to create a beautiful showcase of their work during a South Asian wedding. Hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial. My name is Pi and I'll see you all in the next video.